question 21. Write the three inequalities that define unshaded region are on the diagram below. So which region are we looking for? So we are looking for this region. This is the region we are looking for, which is unshaded region. So the question requires us to write three inequalities. That's what we need to do. So what is key is identifying the region. Then also we identify the lines, whether they are solid or dashed. So you notice that this one is in dashed. This one is solid. And this one is in solid. So for solid, we use greater or equal to or less or equal to. For dashed, it's just strictly greater or less. That's the one that we need to use. So let us start within the simplest thing. One of it is always the simplest. Because if you notice, the marks are five. So the simplest is one mark, then you have two, two. That's how it works. So the simplest will always be either vertical or horizontal. So you notice that we've got the horizontal line. This one is horizontal. So this one is telling us, regardless of the value of x, the value of y remains the same. That's what it means. So what we do is, let us identify this line. So this line is y is equal to what? So this line is y is equal to 4. So regardless of where we go, the value of y remains 4. The next thing is identifying which region. So the region is below. And this is dashed. So this tells me that we are looking for the values where y is less than 4. That's what we are looking for. So this is what you do. So for this one, it's just to get one mark like that. y is less than 4, strictly. That's the first one. Then now we need to go and now do the other two, which is the four marks. So we can start with one. So let us start with this line, this one. So this line is passing through two points. We have 6,4 and this point, which is negative 4,0. And we have got negative 6,4 like that. That's so. We use this fact that the line is equal to m x plus c. So what we need to do is find the value of m first. So let me do this one as an equation number two. This is equation one. So for number two, let us find the gradient. So gradient m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let us say this is x2 and this is y2 then this is x1 then this is y1. That's what we, we do. So what this tells me is uh, it will be for minus zero on top so we're going to have four minus zero over we are going to have now negative six minus negative four so it will be negative six minus negative four pay particular attention to the negatives so this tells me that i have four over negative six plus four which is the same as four over negative two which is nothing but negative 2. That's the value of m. So now I find the value of m. So the next thing that I need to do in this equation, so I know the value of m, I need to find the value of c. So to find the value of c, I just need to pick one coordinate of these two where this line is passing. So I'll pick this one, the simplest, which is negative 4, comma 0 and substitute. So I know here is 0, then this is negative 2. Then this is negative, x is negative 4, we're looking for c, x is negative 4, so it doesn't just substitute, so it will be 0 equals negative 2, which is m, multiplied by negative 4, plus c, that's what we are looking for, okay, so what 
do we do? So what we have now is zero equals eight plus c. So c equals negative eight. So I find the value of c. Then what this tells me is now my y is equal to the value of x is from this m x plus c y is equal to now the general equation is equal to negative 2 x plus because it's a negative so i'll say write it in negative 8 instead of writing plus negative like that then i have this i found this equation this is just equation now what i need is come here this is the equation which is y is equal to negative 2 x minus 8 like that then come and pick any point within the region to test the sign where the inequality so i'll pick a point here so i'll call this point to be i'll get this point to be negative 4 comma 2 which is inside there then substitute that's what i need to do to determine the sign what i'll do is i'll use this equation so it will be y then box here minus 2x minus 8 then i use use coordinate negative 4 comma 2 which is in the unshaded region so here the value of y is a 2 then box then minus 2 times minus 4 then plus so minus 8 not plus like that so I have 2 then box then it will be 8 okay minus 8 so it will be 2 then you have 0 so it will be 2 then you have 0 which one is true is this one so that one is true so now because the line is solid so this tells me that y is greater or equal to minus 2x minus 8 so this is the inequality so you come here and light that equation which will be y is greater or equal to minus 2x minus 8 like this that's number two we look for number four so for number four we are going to pick these points we've got already this one and this one which is in this case 0 comma 4 so we have two points now which is minus 4 comma 0 and make a boundary and 0 comma 4 like that then again the first step is finding m in this equation so to find m m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we'll call this to be x1 y1 then this will be x2 and y2 like that so what this tells me is i'm going to have 4 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 4 which is the same as 4 over 4 which is equal to 1 so i know the value of m m is equal to 1 so now having found the value of m then we need to find the value of c like we did at this point the value of c so we need to pick one point so among these two points i can pick the easiest let me go with the, this one so i have y is equal to one times x which is plus that which is y is equal to x plus c then use 0 comma 4 to find c so to find the value of c so it will be 4 equals the value of x is 0 plus c so c equals 4 so meaning of y is equal to x plus 4 this is just in a solid equation but now so this is this line which is y is equal to x plus 4 this line but we need to find the region inside so i can again we can use the same negative 4 comma 2 to determine the sign there now 
so again we use use negative 4 comma 2 to find the actual inequality so it will be the value of y this is 2 the value of y is equal to 2 so it will be 2 then box then what's the value of x negative 4 plus what's the value of c we already found this a 4 so again you have 2 then box then 0 then again you see greater but because it's a solid line it's greater or equal to so what you're saying is y is greater or equal to so the inequality becomes y is greater or equal to x plus 4 this one so this is how you answer this question to get the five marks once you do this you're good to go please don't forget to download your perfect start companion in the description section you find the link there please join me as i look at question 22